Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 706. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 703 to 706. Whoops, Control Z. Hey, um, we have some data entered into this column here. There is a blood pressure reading and a time, blood pressure reading and a time. Now, this is a horrible way to store data. You never want to do this um, unless your boss makes you do it. Um, not only is it hard to do a calculation on those numbers, but also entering data like this, you can see sometimes there's a dash, sometimes there's a space in the dash, so it's not even consistent data. All right, but what do you do if you have all this data and uh, for whatever reason you have to have it there? We need to extract these numbers and do an average calculation. No problem. All right, the first thing is we can go use the left function. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So we, we can't just do equals left of this comma 3. That would work great because it would extract those three numbers, but down here it wouldn't work. It would get the dash. So we have to recognize a pattern. And there does seem to be a consistent pattern. There are dashes. So there's a function called search, and search will simply look for the dash and tell you which position it is. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's do that. Equals search. Find what text? In double quotes, dash, and double quote. Comma within what? All right, that's the first part of our formula. We can see it gives us 4. 5, 3. Ooh, well, that's not going to work. We want 3 here. So I'm going to, with the range still selected in the active cell, hit F2, subtract 1. Control Enter. Well, that sort of looks like it will work. It'll give us 3, 4. But actually, if we extract with the number 4 there, it will give us the space. Here it works just fine. No problem. Let's do that anyway. Left. The text, I need to be that. And then that's our number of characters. Now, it looks like that's going to work, but there's actually an extra space here. And here's what I usually do. I usually go equals when I'm not quite sure what's really in the cell, if there's some extra characters. I use the len function. Highlight the range, click on the cell. <clears throat> Control Enter will populate all these. I can see there's an extra space there. or something, right? I'm going to try, if it's spaces, I'm just going to use the trim. The trim function is great. It'll give you a haircut. No, no. It'll um, uh, put you on a diet. No, no, no. It just takes text and it removes all spaces except for single spaces between words. Control Enter and then uh, copy it down. So now I can see that the len function is telling me that's OK now. Now, one last thing. If we do equals average on these, it's not going to like that. It's going to give us divide by 0. And the reason why is, well, why? You can immediately have a visual cue because numbers and text are aligned differently. Anytime you use left, right, mid, any of those text functions, it's going to spit out the answer as text no matter what. No problem. There's lots of ways to get it back to a number. One simple way is any operation, like adding 0 on a number as text, will convert it back to a number. Now, you could times 1, double negative. I'm just going to add 0. And no problem. You can see immediately that it aligns over here. So our visual cue on how data is aligned immediately tells us it looks like it's working. And then I'm going to copy it down. Sure enough, now we have it. Now, what if you don't want this extra column? You just want down at the bottom an average? Well, we'll take the same idea. Now, notice this formula I'm going to copy. It's working on A1, but when I hit Enter, it's working on A2. Enter, it's working on A3. We can take this formula and substitute a single cell reference for the whole range of values. This will mean that it's an array formula, and we'll have to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift Enter, but no problem. Let's try that. Equals average, and I'm just going to Control V because I already uh, copied that. Oops, I don't want that. And then I'm going to double click that and highlight the range. Double click that and highlight the range. And now if I hit Enter, it doesn't um, I'm going to click it no. 
I'm going to click OK. I forgot to put a close parentheses. If I hit Enter, it gives me a value error because it, we didn't use Control Shift Enter. As soon as you, in an argument in a function, that's expecting a single uh, value or item or cell. As soon as you put an array or a range in it, you've converted it to an array formula. So you have to use Control Shift and Enter. Control Shift Enter tells Excel that that is an array formula. Not only that, but the curly brackets are automatically put in. That tells you that this is an array formula. So Control Shift Enter, you're telling Excel array formula. That curly bracket is Excel telling you that this is an array formula. All right, now uh, there we have our answer. And uh, the moral of the story is there's always a way to do something, but probably much better to put the 109 in a blood pressure column and the 2 p.m. in a time column. All right, we'll see you next trip.